Hey y'all, I'll be reacting to Glyphenier episode 1, and I'll be starting this reaction in 1, 0, go. Oh, and in case you're wondering where I'm watching the episode, I'm utilizing Funimation streaming service to watch the episode. Alright. It's already starting out pretty intriguingly. Hmm. Interesting first person point of view. I wonder if it's like a mix of a human and a some kind of machine going by that like hand with the aura thing. And considering it's looking like a the first person view is kind of looking like it's the point of view of a television from the 90s where if you don't set the antenna right it's just gonna lag. Okay that's okay that's pretty creepy. Okay who I'm gonna blame someone for being frightened though. It's the random ass dude showing up from inside a soda machine. Oh. Okay, this opening. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all the song. Love the intensity of the song so far. <laughs> the character designs look really, really good. Okay. I think this may be one of my five. Favorite piece of the season, top five for sure. Whoa, <laughs> this just feels so epic. Oh man, I love the cuts with them running, the animation cuts. Jeez. Looks like there's gonna be drama and tension too. Oh, okay, so people can transform into like beast looking creatures then. Alright. I mean the first scene had my had my attention, but this opening has completely got my interest now. <laughs> okay. Oh, what a fire opening. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> I'm really excited. Excited to see what's gonna happen now. Okay, they aren't being subtle. <laughs> but like the crows, you know, whenever you see crows in anime, it's almost always a bad thing. Unless it's Gegege no Gitara, it's almost always a bad thing. Hmm, I already like how from this sequence to see the character's humbleness. Oh, Kaya, okay, that's his name. That's actually a cool way of getting his name, too. Instantly. Oh, that's sweet. And I like the sweaty animation, too. It's really good. And I like the characters and our main character too. <laughs> oh, I could say no to a cute face like that. <laughs> That explains why. Uh, that explains why he was negative at the start. Poor dude. But that's life though. Sometimes he might put 
you're on to something and you're not... Whoa, that's some pretty animation. And even the grass looks super realistic, too. And even, like, the steps, you can see a good amount of cracks. You can see a bit of... And even, like, the shading, too. Because some animes, they don't even bother with shading when a character has semi-long hair. Here they do. Those are all impressive animation details. And art details, too. Yo, the animation team, they showed up to work. And in case you're wondering why I'm really getting, why I'm really complimenting the, anim the animations, because I actually just recently reacted to something that had less than optimal animation, so. <laughs> like, the differences are just more normal. So this is an example of a, a visually beautiful episode. <laughs> I mean, Kaguya kind of deserved that, even though he didn't look at it on purpose, but from a person's point of view from someone else, I could see why someone would think that. He took a peek. Okay, now this looks like she's rubbing it in. really cute there I'm already loving Kaga even more he's like those little subtle details there where he just has appreciation even for the smallest bits of life I like that shows you his compassion too really hmm Guess he's wearing the glasses as an aesthetic then. Oh my. I'm assuming now. I'm assuming now it's when shit's gonna hit the fan then. Oh, that's a nice perspective shot, too. Huh. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, just like that opening, where it actually did show him transform into the base thing. Kind of looks like one of those mascot animatronics that you see in like a... Like you see in one of the either the theme parks or any one of those kid friendly pizza restaurants like And I like that too, we get a grasp of its strength when he's in his beast form. And 
that's with going by that. That's with him utilizing, seemingly utilizing it for the first time. <laughs> okay, the mascot does look cute. I'm gonna get credit for that. Cute and deadly simultaneously. Oh my. What is he actually thinking about eating her? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> oh my. You should probably go like... Okay, good, 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 good. Just leave the area so that he doesn't have to, like, do any awkward, weird explanations. Oh, okay. Good, good. Nothing that incriminates potentially our main protagonist. When I mean incriminate, nothing that could expose his identity as a person that can transform into a beast. Because he did nothing wrong. At all. Oh, no, no, no. Hopefully that does not cause a major misunderstanding. This dude. Oh. I mean, no, I can't blame him, though. No, no, no I take that back. It's, it can happen to anyone. He transform into a beast. Probably wasn't truly in control of his sense. Uh, yeah, he's probably gonna think that he's trying to do something less than desirable to her. And I wouldn't blame her because he did move the panties. Or should I say pantsu? those Yonade faces right now. <laughs> okay, he got his hand got in the cookie jar. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, that's not... I mean, that's someone accurate, but it should be more... Like, he got caught red-handed considering it was a fire that he, where he rescued her from. There you go. It's, I guess in this situation, it's more accurate. He's got to keep his eyes on the prize. Yeah. Oh, that's sly, sly, sly. Beautiful fox. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, isn't that dangerous? <laughs> Talk about living life on the edge. That's true. Maybe she means like a pervert, and if that's just the case, then it wouldn't be so bad. The thing is though, she might have pretended to be unconscious. What is she gonna do? 
Whoa, 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 what? Whoa. I mean... Oh, what an A grade! Oh, what a... <laughs> Sorry for the language, but... What a... <laughs> You gotta say, damn! But then again, I guess it wouldn't be for the color one, a bitch, because... From her perspective, it probably seemed like she was about to be potentially violated. But still, this is kicking someone off of a... Keep getting them out of like a building that's pretty messed up. Either that or he might, yeah, scientists might try to experiment on him. And it wouldn't be outside the realm of possibilities, too. Talk about his figurative balls just to being. Caught like that. All right, I guess the name. Oh. <laughs> I like how I was scared of calling it trashy. Whoa. She looked much more mature than the... And Gaga. Oh my. Oh. That actually explains quite a bit then. Why she was able to like, take care of the situation emotionally at a moment when it's like that with a short amount of time because to live by yourself, you have to be really, really self-sufficient and you've got I was asking have organization skills, but then those dishes <laughs> definitely shows it. I mean, she probably don't care because technically he did saw her without much gluing on, so... Whoa! <laughs> oh my! Okay, okay, I wouldn't be surprised if the Johnny starts, uh, okay, good, good, at least he's covering it up. <laughs> huh? Yeah, he's got to send up for himself. Oh, that explains it. Whoa. 
Whoa! Yeah, we just peeped his lunch out! Ugh, I mean, it makes sense. The enemy does look like to be combat trained. Oh my. <laughs> hey, what type of summons does it take Zuchi for? <laughs> What, is she gonna transform too? Just like, sweet? Oh, yeah. She didn't see that coming. And honestly, the bad part about this for Suichi is he's not experienced in utilizing his abilities at all. He's surrounded by crazy, these poor sweet cheese. <laughs> I loved it. Great first episode. I'm gonna just now. Oh, the 80s is amazing too. So far. Okay, I'm gonna have to listen to the lurid versions of the opening and the ending theme. <laughs> And I do like its visual style, too. It's got a nice minimalistic vibe to it, but... The aesthetics are really beautiful. <laughs> Going by that short-haired individual, then that person's probably going to be around for quite a while, then. Hmm... <laughs> Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> oh, never mind. I wonder if that's potentially foreshadowing that there's going to be some tragedy in regards to the potential relationship between Suichi and Aoki, potentially. Hmm. I have no idea. What it means to be empty. All right. Wow. Uh, yeah, this episode definitely fired off on all cylinders. I thought definitely it was a nine out of ten worthy. It was amazing. Now let me just start by first gushing about the visuals before I gush about the other things. Now from a visual standpoint, animation, oh, perfect. You have shading from under the hair strands, beautiful facial expressions, even the s sequences where there's fire, it looked beautifully rendered. And then on top of the beautiful rendered fire, even the sequence where Suichi was just pushed out of the edge from the, from the uh, rooftop of the school, where he transformed, that looked pretty nice and full of kinetic energy from a visual standpoint when he transformed. For the sequence where he got kicked near the end, just all in all, this episode was just vibrant, it popped out. And if the series can maintain this kind of quality 
from start to finish. Oh my goodness, this is this will be one of the best animes of the year. Hell, this is actually one of the best first episodes I've seen in anime this year. And as for the artwork, I liked it. All the character designs looked well drawn, all beautiful. Even like some like little details like with Aoki's face, you have like some some um, dots to show to show off some nice um, character design diversity there. Rarely do you see people with like polka dots, some polka dots in their character design, so I like that. And then Suichi, I like the amount of detail that was put into his design too. And on top of that, I like the beast creature designs, definitely unique, and I love those animatronic vibes they give me. It just looks really, really cool. From a story standpoint, it was interesting. It just started out with awesome tension action from the get-go and intrigue when it comes to like the origin of those coins. And all in all, definitely recommend any of y'all who haven't seen this first episode, check it out. It is great. And now I'm definitely reacting to the second episode. So anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Rate the bitch, share it, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Alright, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my video and have a great safe day. Bye-bye.